this in here. Fantastic. Okay, so Monday morning. Circle. And all right. Start standing up. Feet are hip distance apart. All right. Connecting into your front. Lengthening to the back. Fingertips reaching long. You know, breathe in nicely there into the sides. As you exhale, just move all attention away from the shoulders, the neck. Head reaching nice and long, breathing in. And breathing out, pulling up from the pelvic floor. Feeling the arches pulling up, feeling the kneecaps pulling up. Everything organized, let's take a little roll down. Tucking the chin in. And continue with the exhale, softening the knees. Scooping into the belly, reaching down, breathing in and breathing out. All the way up, take the arms up to the ceiling, reaching up, inhale and dive over, exhale. Just wake up the body, work into the center, energy to the side of the legs. As we breathe into the back, exhale to come back up. Stepping up, opening through the chin, the chest, lifting those arms, pulling the tummy in and up, ribcage melts down. Again, diving over, big space between your shoulder blades, big space between your shoulders and your ears. Reaching down, breathing into the back, and then curling. And one more time, breathing in, open that chest. Reach and then again curling down, feeling the spine really curling, lengthening, lengthening, opening through the body, giving energy to the sides of the legs, breathing into the back, scooping the belly there, and then curling all the way up. Very nice. Keep that energy into the belly. If you have, can grab your circle for me. That'll be good. So do you need to roll down to grab it again and roll down to grab it again? <laughs> and then coming up. Just a quick connection into the side of the body and into the upper abs. So we're going to hold heels on, thumbs following, draw the tummy in, long into the back. We're going to pump those arms as if we're doing our 100, right? Pumping up those arms. Let's go to 10 times up. <sighs> Percussive breathing, hold it up there, inhale. Ribcage stays down and exhale, percussive breathing again. Just pumping out that breath. Really get yourself energized, okay? So let's wake ourselves up. Let's go up for five sets of these, just waking up the back, the chest, the abs, and the lungs. Breathing, inhale, exhale. Open that chest, okay? So we're not closing down, we're open nice and broad. Exhale. Pulling in through the tummy, keeping the weight over the heels, breathing at the top, exhaling down. In here, exhale. In here, exhale. Pump all that steel air out. Make yourself up. Exhale. Last time. One more time to come, okay? Last set of 10. Hold and beautiful. Pause there, we're gonna roll down. Exhale, curl over, roll it down. Soft in the knees, long in the back, scooping into the front, inhaling and exhaling to the curl. Oh, yeah. Ah, beautiful, ladies. All right, ready for our mat? I feel kind of awake. <laughs> okay, so I just have the band just in case you want to use the band instead of, all right? So just have it close by, but you don't need it right away. Let's hold on to our. Um, circle, nothing underneath the head for now. Just take the circle and take it over your knees. All right, so you can take the padded part just at the top of the thighs here. Feet are nice and close to the bum. I'm gonna feel a little bit of energy 
into the circle. So if you have to press into it to hold it there, that's exactly what I want, okay? Now, once we are here, feel your neutral. When you're pressing it away, feel as if you're pressing it from the hips. So you're really feeling that sacrum opening on the mat, okay? So let's take that breath in there. Bring it, it's reaching towards the ankles. You're gonna inhale. And then on the exhale, you're gonna tip your tea pulling the pubis up, energy still into the sides of the thighs, and just making the space really small, imprinting that spine, inhale. Exhale to release. And when we release, we're gonna keep the ribcage down and just roll to a neutral. Let's go again. Exhale, pulling in, just feeling that length into the back. We already did those roll downs, so you should feel that length. This is in a different position, and then rolling out to neutral. Try not to let the head work in this. Just using those abs, pulling in there, really scooping, feeling that energy into the belly, and then releasing out all the way. Okay, this time we're going to go all the way up into your bridge. Fingertips helping you. Back of the arm is engaged, peeling, and then go right up into that bridge. So you want to feel that energy into the sides of the thighs. Send the knees away from you, rib cage is melted squeeze up from the back there, reaching the hips and the knees away. Take a breath in, pressing into the sides and then exhaling to come down, all the way down to neutral. Try to keep the shoulders open, palms facing the thighs, roll all the way to neutral, inhale. Exhale, curling all the way up, pressing through those knees, press the knees away, so pushing the pubis up, sending those knees long, hold that there for me. Exhale. All that there, push up again. On the next exhale, you're gonna come down. Again, opening through the back, really articulating bone by bone to come down all the way to neutral. We're gonna add on to this next one. Curl the pubic bone up, peeling yourself up, press those knees away, reaching the hips up as high as you can. Now let's just stretch the arms. Inhale, take the arms up. Exhale, be kind, you're keeping the rib cage down and circle those arms around towards the ankles again. And again, take them up, press the hips up, reaching them behind, opening through the chest, circle those arms around to the ankles, push those hips up and lift the arms again, reaching back, keep the rib cage melted and pull those fingertips towards the ankles, hold and peeling down all the way into your neutral. We're going to go up again and circle in the opposite direction. Inhale, exhale, pushing through. Feeling that stability of the core. So this time we're going to come to the sides. Okay, scapular stability. Bring it behind, bring them up. Spread those scapulae, okay? The shoulder blades, spread them there on the mat. Push those hips up as you circle those arms. Go to where it's comfortable, palms to the ceiling in those shoulders, okay? If there's any discomfort, just make smaller circles. Let's just do one more, really. Articulating through the shoulder joint, pushing those hips up. Keep the arms up this time. Reach, really reach for the seat and pull the shoulder blades apart. Take a breath in and then peeling down as if you reach into the ceiling as you peel down in opposition with the spine all the way down. And go ahead and go all the way to neutral. Fantastic. Now, take a breath there, nod the chin. We're going to exhale to lift the head, neck, shoulders. You're going to reach for that circle for me, take it off, and then come back down with it. Keep it in that angle here. Reach back, challenge those abdominals for me. Walk the feet just a little bit away, just about three inches away, okay, away from the bum. And then come up again. Armpits engaged into that circle, lift the head, neck, shoulders, and try to reach over those knees. Really try to get high, so you have that reference point there. Try to keep it neutral for now, okay? Neutral pelvis, and then reaching back, good. Let's go again, lifting head, neck, shoulders, and lift. Try to really get that stretch right to the bra strap. And pull the tummy in, pull those rib cage down, and lifting again, tuck that chin in, tuck that chin in, tuck that chin in. Reach, and down. And again, pulling up, reach, 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 and down. Let's go one more here. Pull the ribcage down in opposition, lifting, reach, 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 stepping up, and pull that back down, resisting. Good. Now just, just take the circle, place the pad underneath the head for me. Okay, we're going to hold the 
underhand, elbows to the side. Okay, so from here, tuck the chin in. We're going to lift head, neck, shoulders, okay? So keep that position here. I'm going to lift my right leg or anyone you want. But what we're going to do is we're going to pull that in and curl ourselves to that thigh. And then as we come to center, stay up and lengthen that leg and pull across and zipping up. So we're keeping that chest lifted. Try to stay in a neutral pelvis still as we reach away. So we're really loading those lower abs tons as well with that leg reaching over and pull it across. Try to get that shoulder across. We're just doing that. If you don't have the circle, you can use a band or just use your hands because you just want to keep that support for the neck and reach. Pull it from the chest, not the neck, okay? Pull across. Zipping up the tummy one more and pull across and center. Place that foot down and then place the head, neck, shoulders down and rest. Zip up. Elbows will rib cage melts. Inhale, lift head, neck, shoulders. Let's take the other leg up. Okay, lift as high as we can. Pull up tighter and then cross over. Send that leg away, squeezing into the thigh. Okay. Pull across, send that leg away, and pull across, and send that leg away, and pull, and set, and pull, zipping up, set, and let's go again, pull, let's go one more here, don't forget to activate that thigh, hold that lift, bring that leg down, head, neck, shoulders go down, just rest there, relax those arms for a bit, Okay, so coming into a imprint now, we're going to lift both legs. Sitting up, we're going to lift the other leg in, okay? And then take your hands in again. So I'm just, hands again like that, just onto the front of the, the pad, the front pad, chest comes down. I'm going to lift my head, neck, shoulders. And this time we will go into our crisscross. So zip up nicely, left leg goes away. I twist to my right leg, pull that shoulder up center and twist try to be wrapping yourself around the central pole okay like you're just twisting around that central pole shoulder blades stay down towards the waist rib cage is pulling in breast on towards the spine as you crunch over really rounding the spine across zipping up and reach zip and reach, zip, reach, zip, reach. Let's go one more set. And reach, zip, and reach, and zip. Hold, and head, neck, shoulders are gonna go down. <sighs> okay, so take this circle from behind your head. Okay, we're gonna just put one leg down, and the other leg is going to go into that circle for me. Get a nice stretch in. Keep that other leg bent for now. Keep the waist same on both sides. I'm going to wiggle this bottom leg a little bit further away. So first it was close, then we went a few inches, there's a few more inches here. So that we get a nice length into this um, bum cheek all the way up the hamstrings and just feel that nice release. Okay, and we're going to keep this leg bent, right? And we're going to do our circles here. So pull the ribcage down. What I want is with this leg bent, you should access more length through this leg. Keep that nice neutral for me. I'm going to do really small circles about the size of the circle. So I'm going to hold this circle here. Rib cage is long. I'm going to pull my leg as much as I can to that circle. And I'm going to do little circles, really working deep into that core to keep your body absolutely still and try to get as close to a perfect circle as you can. Okay, let's go for three more, zipping up across the hips, feeling into those thighs, right? You should be starting to feel into the thigh as you're doing that. Let's go one more here, zipping up, pull that to center, flex the foot, okay? Press it up, come to neutral and opposite direction. Make sure that pelvis is a neutral. So you're really working into that thigh and not gripping into your groin. Yes, you wanna keep that waist long, you want to keep across the hip bones, nailed down, so no wobbly, and reach around. Let's go two more here, sipping up. 
lifting one more. Take it all the way to the top. Good. Point the toe. Stretch that leg almost to the mat. Flex the foot and pick it back up. Point. All the time you're working into those upper abs, right? With the circle being pressed with the heels of the hand. Point and reach away. Flex, pulling up. Point. Reach away. Remember to anchor that sacrum. No wobbling into the pelvis, okay? Reach away. Flex and pull. Point, reach away. Flex and pull. Point, reach away. Flex and pull. Last one, reach away. Hold that one there. Slide that leg in and let it meet the other one. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so legs are lined up. You're zipping up. We're going to now take the other leg and place it into the circle to get the length boost. Zipping up the ribcage, pushing away with the heels so we get that right into the body of the muscle. Pressing that away. Beautiful. Nice. All right, so I'm going to take it away. I'm already anchoring to the waist and the hips. Press that toe up and away. Anchor into those arms. Rib cage is spread open. Take it across the body. Circle really nice and small, the size of that circle. Right now, challenge yourself. One side is going to be different to the other, right? Get inside of the body and feel okay, what do I need to connect with? To be more in control of the movement, feeling into the thigh, feeling across the hip bones, right? Let's go one more after this one, zipping up. Really try to keep the other leg still and take it all the way to the top. Flex that foot in the way and circle in the other direction. And foot. And reaching that leg up as close to that top point. What's happening with the ribcage? That's it. Really getting into that top point as well. And lifting. And lifting. Beautiful. Last one coming up. Pull that to the top. Pause. Point that to. Reach that leg away. Flex the foot. Zip up. Keep that neutral pelvis. Point. Active into that other leg to support the stability. Active into the rib cage, into the lats. Feel the upper abs connected. Pull that leg up. Press it down. Feel the hamstrings. Flex the foot. Pull it up. Point the toe. Press it away. And pull, 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 point the toe. Press it away. Flex the foot. Pull, 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 point away. Press the last one coming up. Pull, 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 press it away. Reach it long. Slide it in. And press it down. Fantastic. Arms come down. Arms are going to feel that as well, definitely. Yes, stretch the legs out. Zipping up, we're going to do some roll ups. Okay, so take my circle, reaching behind us. Inhale to lift head, neck, shoulders, squeezing into the armpits. Peel ourselves up. Reaching over. Let's add a little flex with those feet, sitting up, point the toes, and back down. Let's go for three more of these. And reaching up. Scooping, flex, point, and pulling back down. Reaching and scooping. Remember, if you don't have a ring, you can have a ball, nice juicy ball, or you can just hold your band side to side. And then we do half, one more half. Just sit up nice and tall. Sitting nice and tall. Flex the feet. And uncurl all the way. Come on, just pull this a little closer just in case you want to stick this underneath. We're good, good. Go again and rotate around our midline. So press those feet together. Keep the arms reaching nice and long. Remember, we're going to keep those arms, shoulders down, okay? So when the arms go out, just pull them down a little bit. Definitely going to feel your arms tomorrow, I'll tell you that much. So pressing into that, inhale, grow, exhale to twist. <sighs> Inhale to twist further, feel this arm push and exhale to center. Inhale to go, exhale to twist, twist, twist. Inhale, exhale to center. And twist, 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 and center. And reach, 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 and center. 
So one more time. Reach, reach, reach. And center. And reach, reach, reach. And center. Beautiful. Part those feet for me and just reach over those legs. Put your, your, your circle around your feet and just stretch the back a little bit. Drop the elbows down. So you don't want to be working into the neck too much. Just get that stretch, scooping the tummy in there. Let that head down. Breathing all the tension in the shoulders and the back. Tucking that chin in, getting a deeper stretch again. Another last deep stretch. Release those hands and curl up. Beautiful. Take the feet shoulder width apart. Okay, we'll leave the circle for now. Could come back with it for our extension, right? So arms reaching forward, spine stretch forward. We're just scooping into the tummy, pull up from the bum and reach over those legs. Breathing into the back and exhaling to stack the spine. Really making that length pull up, 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 up each time. Breathing into the back. Exhale to reach, reach, scooping there, inhaling into the back, and exhaling to stack, 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 and breathing into the back, and exhaling to reach, to reach, to reach, inhale, and exhale to stack the spine, all the way up, last one, come up there, really lift over that waist, reach, relax those shoulders, Reach with the back as you pull forward and stack the spine all the way tall, 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 and lower those arms. Don't collapse yet. Don't collapse. Don't collapse. <laughs> Take your circle. Okay, so we're going to add on an inhale with extension. Okay, so arms reaching out into your C curve. Inhale, exhale to reach forward. Now, from here, you can soften into the knees because I want you, I want is the back to extend, open my chin, open my chest, and free my face with my arms. Thumbs pointing backwards, shoulder blades pulling down. I'm going to lengthen there and then inhale in. And then as I exhale, I'm going to rewind that. Arms are coming down as my chin curls in, reaching over my legs, and I'm going to stack my spine, lengthen through the legs as well as you lift, 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 lift. Out of that bum. Pull into your secret. Exhale to reach forward. Good. Now, if you need to, you soften the knees as you come into that extension. So you want the six bones to be sticking out behind you. From the crown of your head to the tail, you want to be lengthened. Open that chest. Bring those arms to frame the face. Lengthen through the arm, shoulder blades, stay down. And then we're coming down. Really feeling the scapula supported there as you pull them down and in place. Okay. And curling through and reaching, reaching, reaching. Coming into your in extension, lengthening. You can always soften the knees if this is too much of a stretch in the hamstrings because I want you to lean forward and open that chest. Stretching those arms, fingertips long, thumbs reaching back, and then curl back. So you should feel those back muscles really deeply switched on as you're coming up. Last one, you're going to add on just a bit. Inhale, scooping, squeeze those glutes, strengthen those legs, pull the waist behind you as you reach forward. Now, curl the, the pelvis out to a neutral as you lengthen through the back from the sits bones, opening through the chest, opening through the chin and the arms follow suit, reaching there. Now hold that, feel the back muscles. Stretch the fingers, thumbs reaching back. I'm gonna pull my arms back just another two inches and then bring them down in front of my face and pull and reach down, shoulder blades. Pull, pull that chest forward and try to keep those arms straight. Keep the shoulders away from the ears. Pull, frame that face, and down. press those legs, squeeze the glutes, and pull the tummy in. Long line from crown to tail. Let's go three more here. Pull, and down. And yes, I'm shaking as well. Reach, and down, working into those backs. And pull, reaching into your rewind. Hold it into your deep C curve. Pull the legs a little together so you can reach the circle over and rest those arms and just relax that back. Ooh, stretching it out there. Thumbs up on that, everybody, all right? <laughs> okay, and just feeling that scoop into the belly away from the thighs as you just try to press your elbows down. 
towards the mat. Beautiful. Breathing that nicely there. Inhale. And then releasing the circle. And let's crawl up all the way and float those arms down. Very nicely done. Okay. Coming back down, take your circle and place it over here. You're going to come down onto your side. Okay, so on my side, what I want is you're going to use this as a sort of a support for the first set that we do. All right. So bring the circle in front of your tummy. If you want to put a, a couple of cushions here, you can, or just curl up your hand. Spine is long and neutral. Okay. Let's take the legs to the clamp shape. So my heels are lined up with my butt. And what I want us to do is to bring the elbow here and just use a little bit of pressure in here, but not from the neck, from here, like you're trying to squeeze here down, okay? So from here, squeeze the feet together, squeeze the hand down, waist is organized, and then you're just going to lift into your clamp. Okay, now what you'll find is that that movement with the arm really helps you to keep that connected so that you don't let the hip roll back the pelvis roll back. So what I really want is for you to focus into the rotators, like you're pulling the thigh bone into the hip joint every time you do that. Okay, and you're pressing those feet together and pull that up, but my pelvis is not moving. Yeah, good, got it. And reach up. Very nice, and push up. Let's go for five more, keeping the headlights of the hips pointing forward. Just feeling that pointing forward energy into the arms. Not a lot of energy. I want you to go, be so hard into the arm that you start to feel it in the neck. It's just about waking up the core muscles. Yeah, it's just about feeling that to wake that up. It shouldn't be anything extra in your neck. All right. And reaching, reaching, reaching. And reaching, reaching, reaching. Let's go one more here. Reaching, reaching, reaching. Good. Now hold that there. We're going to press those legs up. Zipping up, and same thing. I'm going to come in with my clam and pressing up. And in both legs now, feeling the energy into both hips. Try to keep those feet just in line with the top sits bone, okay? So we're not dropping the legs here. We want to really keep them lifted as high as we can. Energy into the arm, pressing that up. Good. Let's go five more. Pressing up. Both hip bones are pointing up. And three. And two, and one, hold that there, waist is long, don't let the waist sink in, lengthen the waist, hold that there, pulse it, pulse it, pulse it, pulse it, pulse it, four, three, two, one, both legs pulsing out, lower the feet first, then lower those legs, oh, nice, push, <laughs> okay, so now what we're going to do, just come up onto your elbow, I'm going to put the circle between my Ankles. Okay, so that's what you're going to do as well. Nice and comfy. Try not to get it onto the bone where you're going to feel like as if it's, it's, it's hurting your, your leg. Okay, just parallel. We're going to go parallel with those arm legs and lengthen them out. So now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to flex my feet, keep my feet in parallel. Same thing again. I'm going to stretch my hips out. This time, we're pressing into the legs. Feel those inner thighs. We're going to lower down to the mat and lift as high as we can without um, crunching too much into the waist. You definitely have to shorten, but you want to really lengthen that top heel away. We're still in neutral, so meaning parallel feet, okay? So I want you to really reach from here and press those legs away as we lift. Feel those inner thighs and press up. Let's go. We're going for 10 of them, okay? So I think this one is five good ones. Sometimes we have to knock out the first two. <laughs> and reaching there. And feel those inner thighs, yeah? Feel all the inner thighs are pressing onto that. Okay, four. And three. And two. Hold it there. Squeeze. 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 Hold it up. Squeeze. 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 Let's go five. Four. Three, zipping up, two, and one, and lower that down. Fantastic. I'm going to bend my knees so that I can put my foot feet inside this time. Same thing with the ankles. Okay. 
This time, you can actually put it down and adjust yourself properly. Yeah. This time, we're going to turn the heels towards each other. Yeah. Reaching the legs away. Pull the legs slightly forward for me. Yeah. And turn those legs out. Same thing. Lift and tap. Lift, tap. Keep that waist long and lift. Turn those legs up, pressing onto the outsides of the legs and wrapping those thighs. Really wrapping, working into those hips beautifully. Is my hip joint pointing forward? Yes. Is my lower back lengthened? That's why I want you to bring your legs forward slightly. If you feel any crunching in that lower back, you're going to bring those legs forward slightly. Keep push. Always put your fingers down here. Push. Okay, don't be pressing too much into the hand. <laughs> and four. And three. Turn those heels towards each other. Two. And hold, 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 turn those heels, flex those feet, turn those heels towards each other, press those feet away, press those feet away. Five, four, three, two, one, and point those toes and lower that. Beautiful. And down. Pressing down onto the circle. The toe is pressing in to keep you supported. The heel is pointing up. I'm going to lengthen that top leg. Okay. And we're going to go little circles inside of that circle of the magic circle okay stretching that leg out and reaching around and for four and five keep the legs slightly turned out just so you can get a little bit more comfy into the circle and one and reverse those circles eight seven six five four Three, two, keep the chest nice and open, and one, reaching that there. And rest that down, flex those feet. Last thing coming up, okay? Last thing coming up here. So I'm gonna just lift my circle a little bit so I can reach it back so that my leg, my bottom leg is now, I can just see my ankle in front of my body. I don't want it to be all the way back in line, just to keep it forward a little bit. And we're gonna do hot potato with the circle. So I'm gonna take my leg out, and reach it over, and this time we're coming to parallel with the bottom leg, so toe pointing towards me, reaching that out. This leg is gonna go in front of the circle and to an internal rotation. It's gonna lift and tap behind the circle in external rotation, okay? So fingertips down, internal rotation, up, tap it back, external rotation. Doesn't have to tap down all the way because you may not be as flexible in the hip joint, but you really wanna be feeling into that hip keeping those hips one on top of the other, the pelvis stacked, right? You don't wanna be rocking it too much. It should be just in the hip joint completely. Reaching back and front and back and front and back. Let's do two more sets for eight and back and front and back. Beautiful, lift it up. Take your circle here so that you can bring it in so you can take your circle off and straighten the bottom leg and just get a nice breather on that front leg. Give it a rub. Take your circle out of the way so you can take your chest open. Now, if you need a little cushion or something underneath your head, more power to you. Organize yourself. Let's see if we can just keep that stretch here. If it's available, go ahead and turn the chest a little bit further. So you really get a nice stretch into the waist as well, into the bum. Remember, it might be tight. You don't need to go any further. Otherwise, you can even take your head and reach behind you as well to deepen that stretch. Just go to where it feels really yummy and releasing as you breathe into it. Let's do that for about three slow breaths. Breathing in for six counts. Just hold that breath at the peak of the inhalation. And breathing out for eight slow counts. Breathing in for six counts. And breathing out. Breathing in. And breathing out. I'm going to take that arm up to the ceiling and bring it in front. Stack both legs for me. Definitely put a little cushion underneath there if you want to put your circle. Arms reaching in front. Now don't move the hips, okay? Keep them still. I'm gonna take that arm, open through the chest, fingertips reach away, and then bring that back. 
glue those legs together and take it back. Reach and front. And taking it back, keep that shoulder down, open that chest, breathing in, and take your front two more for me. Breathing in, fill the back, exhale. Open the chest, breathing in. One more there, breathing in, opening. Glue those legs together. Exhale, take it back. Beautiful. Hand down, top leg in front, push yourself up all the way. Nice long into our side bend. If it's uncomfortable in the wrist, remember we can always leave this one out. Two options, just go into your mermaid, the, the um, simple mermaid, or come on to your forearm if it's too much on your wrist, okay? So just move as you can see. We're gonna be engaged in through here. We're gonna come up into our side support. Take that arm up, stretch the body nicely, feel the support. Working a lot into those shoulders so you can feel that strength. Bring that arm up, T, bend those legs and come back down. Okay, with you? Feels powerful? Nice. Okay, so let's go again. Zipping up. Remember, we're going to start with that preparation. Taking that up. Nice T. Bring that long and then lift. Nice arc. Pressing up. Now let's add the bottom arc as well. Reach as this arm comes down, lower there. Then bend the knees and come down. I'm going to scoop my legs in. I'm going to come into that nice mermaid there. Reaching up, taking that up all the way. I'm going to flip the legs to the other side and we'll do side work and then we will do the other side for the arm lifts. Okay, so we get to stretch the side um, that we were working. It's a cool idea, right? <laughs> At least that's my idea. Okay, so we started, ladies, with your head down, because I wanted us to keep that really long for the clams. We started with the clams feet down, everything organized, and we had a little bit of energy into the side of the, of the arm, of the ribs, so that we could keep that elbow down and the pelvis stacked. So let's go. We're going for 10 of them. Again, you want to be active in that bottom leg and feel really anchored here and just working into pulling that bone into the hip joint. Yeah, and press open. And press. And press, sipping up. Energy into that arm, press open. Press. Let's go again, reaching up. Energy into that arm, push that up. Push. Good, okay, let's hold the next one up and lift my legs. So remember, I want to get my heels in line with my upper six bone, and then I'm going to close that down. When I pull open, both legs push open, zipping up. Don't forget the rib cage must stay melted, yeah? Push that up. So you don't want to be arching out your back to get that leg lifted, because that's what, that's what happened, eh? you want to use all the rest of the body. You're stabilizing with the back and the front, and you're just isolating that hip movement because then what will happen is that one side of your lower back will try to grip to push your legs back you don't want to do that you want to keep that body really still did i just catch you doing that yeah yeah <laughs> oh, i remember most of the time i say it's because i catch myself doing it as well it's just what your body wants to do naturally you know and even if you're not doing it you know just think oh where's my body stabilized just get to know the body nicely and push that open let's go for the last three here really feeling that into the glutes reaching up i'm going to hold this one here and give me a little bit of a pulse so you're pressing those feet together pressing those knees apart squeezing into both hips feel that into both hips five four three two one we're going to bring the feet down first you know and then the knees down fantastic and come up onto the elbow and i'm going to put the um circle between my legs and when we when we're down with the parallels, I tend to work more in line with the body. Yeah. So as opposed to going too far forward, I tend to work sort of in line. Okay, feet of feet of legs, pressing up, reach, and lower. Now, do you find one side is like completely easier than the other? Sometimes it is. Or do you find, hmm, is that really kicking into my lower back? 
Well, then, fine, take the legs more forward, okay? It will be different side to side. And that's what's the beauty of our bodies. Not only are we so unique, but even from limb to limb, side to side, and reaching up. Beautiful, reaching up still. If your find is getting to your back as well, what you can do is just put your head down. And you'll find maybe you can keep it a little bit longer. Okay. Are we squeezing in those inner thighs, ladies? Yes. So we really need to be squeezing them in. We really need to be feeling that, that um, glute meat as well. Really squeezing there. And press, press, press. And hold. Beautiful. And coming down. Let's release that down for a second. It'll bend the knees just so we can hold it and we can put the feet inside. Okay. So feet are inside. <clears throat> I'm going to lengthen my legs. Just adjust it just above the ankle nicely. Yeah. And then we're going to take the legs forward. Remember what I said? But because we're going to turn out a little bit. Take the legs forward. Because it's a little bit more challenging. Yeah, you will tend to want to recruit other muscles that you don't want to really work with. So I'm wrapping right all the way up my thigh. I'm going to lift and lower. This side is much more difficult for me, I'm finding. And lower. And lift and lower. Definitely much more difficult for me to keep my body stacked. Lift. Then we can go down on this side and lift and lower. So find your comfort zone where you can really organize yourself. Lift, lower, lift, lifting, lifting, and three. Two, keep wrapping those heels towards each other, and one, and hold that there, good. Flex the feet, press it up, press it up, hold, press it up, reach, 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 and lower that down. Ooh. Point that bottom toe, reach that leg there, little circles there for eight, seven, six, really. You know when you do those small circles, it takes so much more control to do them. You really feel it deeper. I think this week I will focus on doing everything tiny <laughs> and really getting into that deep, deep, deep focus. Reaching, reaching. Let's go one more here. Take it opposite direction. You always rest in between or do less than eight. Are we active in that bottom leg? Yeah, reaching that around. Are we turned out in those legs? Just gently turned out. Reaching that around, should be feeling that hip on fire now. And around, just one. Reaching, take it all the way and rest. Fantastic. So I'm gonna lift the circle, take it back just a notch, yeah? Not too far, remember we wanna still see that leg in front of us. <sighs> and bend that knee, taking it out of the circle and reaching it. So starts with parallel, taps in front, lifts, taps behind. Okay, you can be up on your elbow or you can be flat down and taps in front. Are we active in that bottom leg? And taps behind, taps in front, waist stays long, taps behind, taps in front, and taps behind, and reach. Lengthen, reach, lengthen, reach, lengthen, last two, reach, lengthen, reach, and lengthen, last one. Beautiful, reaching it back, and let's take that forward and rest that down. I'm gonna let the circle fall, pull it in, take your circle off your leg so that you can let that leg long. Put the circle to the side, you don't need it right now. And again, if you need to grab your cushion to put underneath your head so you can get that stretch. It's good, stay there. Remember, we don't wanna be overdoing it because then sometimes after we think, what did I do, my SI joint, whatever. Really feel through your body. Do I need more here? Okay, can I just try with my chest? Okay, that's enough. I'm gonna pause here. Otherwise, go a little bit further. So by the end of it, you want to have nice, about five nice slow breaths there. I tell you, ease into it with one breath, ease in another one. Let's just take three more breaths there. Again, really slowing that breath down and breathing out, really feeling a full exhalation. You should feel the muscles just releasing with that breath as you breathe in, nourishing all the muscles. 
pause at the peak of that inhalation. And as you breathe out, you just allow that to escape. And breathing in. And breathing out. Breathing in. Last one here, breathing out, stretch that a little bit further. And then on the next exhale, lift that arm up, bringing that to center. Very nice. Okay, let's take both legs together, glue the legs together, and taking that straight up, opening just the upper body and pulling us back in. So again, remember when we started, yeah, rolling around that central pole, if you feel really good with this week, just opening up yourself and literally something you can do sitting on your chair, right? Do you see that we're in a position of seated? Imagine if you had a chair just underneath you, you can literally just do that in between. Some work, some desk work, do it in bed. Let's just do one more here. That was five. And then do we do the other side six? Let's do one more. I think I'm doing even numbers this today, six, six, and eight, and ten. Now I do have a method to my madness. <laughs> I'm bringing that, just stretching that upper shoulder, feeling that release, and then go ahead, hand in front, top leg in front, and pressing yourself up. So we're gonna go for a side bend. Again, okay, ladies, we're gonna be stronger on one side than the other. Give yourself a break, work through it. If you wanna go onto your forearm, do, or if you wanna just go straight into the mermaid. So my legs are a little bit long. I mean, there's the simple mermaid, okay? Spread that arm, pull from the armpit, okay? Don't put all the weight into the wrist. Put it into the core, reaching there. I'm gonna press up, nice long. Tee off the body, lengthen the body, and then give me that curl from that armpit, not the neck. Inhale there, tee off the body, long and fold back down. Ready for the next one, I'm gonna add that under the can always leave it up or go into your forearm, okay? Reaching up, tee it off. Stretch, then lift into your curve. Give me more curve, give me more curve, give me more curve. And then lift, tee it off. Take that arm down and then give me a lower arm curve. Zipping up from the armpits. Bend those knees, feel that nice long line and rest that down. Beautiful, fantastic. Take that arm in, take the legs in and give me that moment into the opposite direction. Reaching out, reaching out, reaching out. So that's a good prep for our session for Wednesday when we're really gonna go deeply into our classical, we're gonna do those lifts for sure on Wednesday, okay? So let's come around now. I'm just gonna get you onto your hands and knees for us to do a little bit of back centering with our back, okay, while we, um organize into our cat stretches as well. So just first, a little bit of pressure into the wrist. So the first wrist, that the last wrist that you were just working, so I was working my left one, I'm gonna use that one first, okay? So everything's squared off. I'm gonna take that arm out, take that leg out, and I'm gonna stretch my body here, really stretching, and I'll take my arm to the side, reaching, bring that leg down, bring that arm down. Bring it out again, stretch. Bring the arm to the side as I sip up my tummy. Bring that arm down, bring that leg down in. And again, reach and stretch out of that wrist. Take that arm to the side as you lengthen that leg and bringing that down. Let's go to the other side, three on the other side. Sip across the hips, across the ribs. Stretch that arm out, stretch that leg out. Lift, stretch that leg as you take that arm to the side and bring that in, bring that leg down. Zip up, reach, stretching the limbs away from each other, take it to the side, stretching even more, bringing that in, power through the ribs and the hips, lift, lengthen, and lift and stretch, last one, bring it to the outside, stretch that arm on that other, the leg back, and bringing that in, and all the way in, take a breath in here, and roll into a beautiful cat stretch, breathing in, Roll out into neutral. And again, breathing in, exhaling, inhaling, breathing out. One last one. 
Breathing in, start the movement. Tucking that heel, tucking that chin, breathing in, breathing out. Breathing into the back again, feel that. Now this time, instead of coming out of it, let's exhale into our child's pose, curling the spine and pushing those hips back into those heels, stretching the arms away from you, tucking that chin in, breathing. Now let's just turn the palms to the ceiling and feel that stretch into the mid back, tuck that chin in. Don't let the neck um, tense up, just rest the head, the crown of the head down onto the mat and breathing into the back nice and broad. Breathing out, breathing in and breathing out and breathing in. And then just take your arms around to the side and curling all the way up, all the way nice and tall. Take a breath there. You can stay where you are. I'm just going to turn to face you. If it's uncomfortable in the feet, you can come off your feet. Otherwise, stay where you are. You know, just as we were before, I'm just facing you. you take the arms to the side. We take one arm up, other arm down, and stretch from that hip all the way over. Inhale, and then just round the spine, looking towards that thigh, and circle yourself around, stretching into the feet, into the shins. Take the other arm around to reach and circle all the way and come back to center, and arms to the side. Take it to the other side, reaching, stretching those feet, stretching the shins, and then going ahead, breathing, and then exhaling to curl yourself around. Take the other arm around as well, and take it all the way to the top. Beautiful, nice breath in. Reach those arms to the ceiling, breath out. Nice breath in, breath out. Very good. Hands reaching down. Remember, you're still facing front. So I'm going to go back to where you are. Your hands reaching down. Press the heels up, the heels into you, and toes onto the mat. And straight up into your downward dog. Pressing those calves out and those Achilles, getting a nice stretch into the body. Draw the breath into the back, shoulders away from the ears, to the rest of the head, hand loose. Just walk those arms back towards the feet. I'm gonna press my hands next to my thighs, my shins. Press those elbows back, get a nice deep stretch here, breathing into the back. Then releasing those arms, exhaling. Soften the knees, breathing in again as we come up a couple inches. And then as you exhale, you're just gonna curl up all the way a beautiful standing position. I'm going to come off my table. Okay, so nice and tall, everything organized. Everybody's organized. I'm just going to come so you can see my face. My head, come off the table. Last breath in and breath out. Namaste. I hope you enjoyed that, ladies.